I was going to be a professor. <laughs> that was my plan. My mother's, my mother's a wonderful cook, and her, her mother, my grandmother, was, was a great cook as well. There was always fresh bread there, always fresh meat, fresh vegetables from the garden. My grandmother would make mayonnaise from scratch and big pancakes in her huge cast iron frying pan. I got a part-time job when I was really young as a, as a bar back at a restaurant downtown. And they had a huge patio, but their keg fridge was, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 yards away. And so I spent my summer moving kegs from this keg fridge out into the patio bar. It was just nice to be part of a team and get a lot of positive feedback. And so I fell in love with the sort of environment. And you know, after that, became a bartender and then a server. And then just got the bug to figure out how, how kitchens work. It made a lot of sense to be in the restaurant industry and, and understand all facets of, of the restaurant. And so um, that's when I made a decision to go to culinary school and, and learn how to cook. When I was done, I, um, I was apprenticing at a, at a place called The Healthy Butcher and Sebastian taught me how to break whole animal hanging on a rail and uh, on a block. We did pigs and lambs and beef and deer and bison. Yeah, it was a really great opportunity and so I've been butchering ever since and um, at the end of a few years there I took that knowledge back into the restaurant community where I thought that uh, I wanted to spend most of my time and where I thought that sort of work was really, would be really helpful. I do it because, you know, every day is a little different. It's not always the same thing, um, and it's and it's good work. It's it's rewarding. It's um, there's something simple and blue collar about it. Um, you know, it's nice to use your hands, and uh, and just to make food for people and, and to do something that's that's pretty simple and very very tactile and uh, and very real. There's a lot about butchery and and cooking and helping people get food and uh, you know contributing to the food economy there's there's so much work to do maybe the last 20 years we haven't been the smartest about our food buying decisions and, and a lot of that has affected how food gets made and, and, and even the access that we have as a result I think people should be buying their food directly as much as possible for Dennis and Denise you see their farm and that's Denise's family's farm. It's been in their family for a long time. And if they weren't able to make a viable business out of it, they wouldn't be living there and I wouldn't be buying that food from them. And if we can continue to buy food from them now, there's a good chance that Ben and Spencer and Brittany, their kids, will still be able to run that farm and people will still be able to buy food from them 20, 30 years from now. As a cook and someone in the restaurant industry, you don't have a ton of time to be at home. And because I have a family, it's really important to me that we eat we eat well and we eat meals together. One of the reasons I do what I do is because I think those things are important. Keep me searching for a